for uh, subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm not going live yet, but uh, I thought I'd put this little video together. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want to see, um, just put some messages down below. Uh, and I'll try to uh, either video those or just answer them. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. All right, pulling up to the studio. It's raining today. UBS. Didn't drop off the box. All right. I'm first one here. The alarm goes off. Helps wake me up. Don't I hope you didn't see that code. Anyway, this is uh, Charlene's area back there. I'll give you a tour later. And then uh, this is our studio. Right now I'm the only one in it. And let's see, where am I going? Here's my space is over here. Today I'm gonna be um, painting, so I'm not gonna be in this area much, but usually what I do is drop off my bag, and then uh, I'll check email here. I have a standing desk that's turned into a sitting desk. Uh, here's a Lego put together with my daughter a couple weeks ago. I'm scared that it's going to fall. Don't bump it. Um, over here, this is where I'll be working most of the day. I just left it overnight. Uh, I'm painting all the pages for the Heck Studio book. It's a mess, but uh, we'll be seeing most of that today. And let's see. Next is uh, coffee. Coffee is usually the first thing I do. And uh, I'm going to set this up. Okay, this is the most important part of the day making coffee. This is a Brevi. Uh, I don't know, you can get it on Amazon. Um, I bought it for the studio as a Christmas gift to uh, all of us. Um, and attendance at the studio has uh, doubled since this came in. Anyway, here we go. What's great about this is it grinds it for you. Smells so good. And uh, over here. Then you gotta tamp it down. You don't want too much in there because the pressure will be wrong. You don't you want just enough. Oh yeah. Put it in there. Make sure there's water. There's plenty of water. Put your cup under there two shots and then you wait and so you just turn it to the hot water you mix the Americano yeah. and then uh, in the afternoon I'll have lunch 3 o'clock I'll make a latte spoil myself sometimes I put a little mocha in there once a week. I'm watching my calories right now. I'm at 1600 calories. I'm trying to uh, use my comic book fat. Alright, there you go. Look at that. Alright, there we go. Best part of the day. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is how I work. I usually just spread out all the art and I'll work on maybe four or five pages at a time and color, do skin color and everything, and then I'll do all the purple, so I don't have to keep mixing watercolors. Here's my watercolors. Um, so I'll just work on those and then rotate the pages until I have four pages done. They all kind of get done at the same time. Um, what else? Oh, a lot of times uh, I've been taking the pages home just because I'm not sure if I get sick. I guess I'm gonna stay home, not infect the studio. 
Uh, so I've been bringing them home, and I use this thing, which is great. This is made out of duct tape. My daughter made this for me when she was like eight years old, I think. She made a, and I asked her, I commissioned her to make it just big enough to hold all my original art so that I could transport art. I throw it in my messenger bag, and then it's so thick, it keeps it from getting bent up. I can even throw my watercolors in there, too. Um, anyway, this I've been using this for um, probably six or seven years. Invaluable. And it folds up. Um, one more pro tip. This is my water color cup. This is my coffee mug. Never put your mugs like that because this happens. And then you have to make a hard decision. It's like, uh, how many dips of the brush into your coffee um, before you don't drink that coffee again? And uh, I'm not sure how many that is. I've never not drank in my coffee after clean the brush in it. All right, more later. All right, it's been a couple hours. Uh, I had to do emails. I had to do a um, online interview that took like an hour. Uh, and then I'm back to painting. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Here's this page, still um, drying, getting there. You can start to see the difference between the layers. And it's just gonna get darker as we go down. And then I'm also working on these pages over here. You can see that. So I, I usually start light to dark. So I'll do all the lighter colors, oranges, yellows, and then uh, work my way to darker colors. That way I don't have to keep washing my brush out every time. Anyway, that's where I'm at. It's almost time for afternoon latte. All right, it's time for the afternoon latte. I've been painting all day and doing interviews. Um, here's the problem. For my latte, I only have this much milk left. I'm supposed to fill it up to there. So I'm going to try this heavy whipping cream. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's really thick. That might be a problem. All right, so coffee's already ground. Here we go. Same as the Americano this morning. Slip my mug under there. That's too far. I have these double walled shot glasses that work great. And we just wait for the goodness. I hope this cream's not spoiled. April 23rd. You can smell it. Look. Anyway, this really is the most exciting part of the day. All right, then. I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do the latte. I haven't quite mastered it yet, so you're going to see what happens. You have to let the water heat up. It looks really thick. Let it heat up, then. It's happening. I'm worried about that cream. It's turn into a thick milkshake. We'll see. So you just steam it until it feels warm. I, I steam it until it's really hot. And then you're supposed to get a vortex. So the milk is spinning around in there. So I keep doing it until it spins around. I know I'm supposed to be showing a watercolor process, but this is what I'm most excited about right now. All right, it's getting hot. So as it gets hotter, then I start to lower the cup and put more foam in until the foam goes to the top. I don't know if this is right. You can leave a comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, it's really hot. Uh, 
come to the steam to clean it out. Tap it to get out the bubbles. Alright, let's bring it over here. And so, this is the part I haven't quite mastered. And with cream in there, who knows what's going to happen. It's not enough. See if I can get a design. My designs either look like Christmas trees or hand grenades. One or the other. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything this time. Oh, here we go. I'm going for a Christmas tree. And let's make it a hand grenade. Put a handle on there. All right, that might be the best I've ever done. Right there. There it is, Christmas tree hand grenade. Just checking in, here we go, progress. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, working on this page, and then you can see this page over here. The layer is starting to get darker. Again, that page is gonna take all day. A couple more over here. Uh, that one on the right's done, still working on those, and I got a couple spreads down there. It's a mess, and then uh, my latte is almost gone. Almost almost done today. Okay, this is a big page. I'm working on a double spread, and it's going to take forever to paint, but I'm just going to show you the first part of this, which is just working wet on wet, which is uh, just, I'm putting down a bunch of water first, and then I'm going to put down a color on top of it. So I'm just literally taking my mug of water over this thing. I've already coated half of it. And just kind of takes... I'm just splashing the water all over. I could probably pour the water on it. But uh, that makes me a little nervous. And I'm trying not to make too big of a mess. Get this out of the way. So now there's water. This page is soaked with water. And I'm just going to take my blue. Let's go over the whole thing. And it sort of softens the way the color works. It's not like a hard, oops, I almost, did you see that? I almost put it in my coffee. I gotta put water in here. So I just mix the paint with, uh, water, and you can see how it makes it a really soft effect. I almost went for my coffee again. And then, yeah, you're just putting straight color right onto the wet paper. And then there'll be a few layers of this. You just kind of push it around a little bit. I kind of want an underwater effect. So this will be the first layer and then I'll color, uh, add more color later. Anyway, that's it. That's layer one. I forgot to do a shot of uh, being done for the day, but I'm done for the day and I'm driving home. I'm gonna pick up uh, this Gorilla Street Food. It's like a Filipino uh, food cart. Not food cart, what is it? Food truck. It's really hard to talk and drive at the same time. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pick up dinner and go home and then we're gonna eat and then I'll do the same thing tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll post this video tonight. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Bye.